What is the difference between CP and CPK? Hey there, I'm Arun Sharma. I'm founder of Submastery. Submastery is helping working professionals in getting aid in life and career through our online courses, certification and membership. You can visit www.submastery.com for more details. Okay, so if you look at these terms, CP and CPK both are part of prosecutability studies and these are like calculated when you make control charts. So what are the difference between these two terms? If it see like CP stands for process capability, right? What we say is that CP stands for process capability and CPK is process capability index. So that's a like word which is used to uh, define or you can say the terminologies which is there. CP process capability and CPK process capability index. Now what's the difference between these two? If you look at CP, so what does CP indicate? CP will primarily indicates your distribution if can fit inside the customer uh, specification so cp will focus on the precision part it will focus like how good you will be able to fit the customer specification think about that let's say there's a garage and uh, there are like width of that garage and that you assume is a tolerance given by customer and then you have a car which is your basically your process width right and if your car that means your voice of process uh, can fit into customer garage which is a voice of customer so how good like that will be how good uh, fit that will be right so cp will tell you that uh, how potentially like you'll be able to fit inside the customer given specification so cp will tell you that how much like we can say percentage of given tolerance of customer you'll be acquiring so in short cp will tell you that if you will be able to fit inside the customer specification or not or if your car which is a voice of process will be able to fit inside the customer specification or not so if let's say that uh, the voice of customer the garage width is small and your voice of process is there's a large variation so you won't be able to fit right so that's the reason you calculate the cp and if we see the formula of cp is usl minus lsl divided by six sigma well when it comes to cpk so it basically shows that what's your overall like average if that is centrally located or not so basically cpk will uh, focus more on the accuracy side will focus more on the uh, the average like uh, how much you are near to the uh, target right so when it comes to cpk we look at the uh, variation and it also includes central tendency which basically influence cpk and if, if you look at the formula of cpk which is minimum of usl minus x double bar divided by three sigma or lsl minus x double bar divided by uh, three sigma right so if you look at cpk cpk will always be smaller than uh, cp why because if you look at the uh, cp there is only it is basically influenced by the process variation if you look at cpk there are both like variation as well as central tendency for that reason we say cp will always be like a greater or equal to cpk or we can say reverse also like cpk will always be smaller smaller than a cp right okay so to summarize cp stands for process capability cpk stands for process capability index cp will basically represent how good is your distribution or precision that you can fit into potentially fit into customer given tolerance a specification cpk will indicate the overall average uh, is centrally located or not right so these are the two like so that's the difference between cp and cpk i hope you got an understanding so i definitely will request you to share this podcast with your friends like and subscribe wherever you're listening and I'll see you in another episode.